John, I think we're live. I think yeah. we're I think back. We are. We Guess are back. who's back? This is like back this again. is like where we live. This is where we live this week. I think. Just we just right got done done with a couple of mentor sessions this morning. Shout out to Mason and to Michelle. Thank you both for doing mentor sessions with us. Um, it's been a good day. I'm not going to lie, and it's been an incredible week. Thanks to the many of you out there. Nick, I'm not going to lie, uh, you know, course week, enrollment week, complete wedding videography, it's open, it's really exciting for us. We always, you know, try to make projections of how many people are going to join. Uh, and to be honest, it's it's blown us away with how many of you out there have joined. Um, if you don't know what the heck we're talking about, Nick, why don't you tell them just a little bit about what the complete wedding video course is? Just a quick hitter on that, and then we will get in because we're doing some wedding film reviews today. Yeah, but, we are. Yeah. We are. So, um, what? Yeah, we have a the complete wedding videography course. Uh, John and I had been filming weddings for uh, combined over twenty years, and this is just all of the stuff that we know. It's business shooting and editing. Uh, we break down uh, everything that we have learned, like I said, over the last twenty years combined. Um, but not only do we like sit and talk at you and tell you information and things that we want you to learn, we also show you how to do some stuff. You know, we have Zoom calls of consultations where you can actually uh, see how it is that we're talking with people and how we're communicating with people. Uh, on the shooting side of stuff, we actually have a few behind the scenes videos of John and I where um, a camera's following us around and, um, you know, we're communicating what we're doing today. And then on the editing side of things, um, I edit an entire wedding video from start to finish, from import to export to upload and everything that I'm doing in between and showing you what I'm thinking about while I'm editing. So we, we know it's very important to show you what we're doing, not just tell you things. And so uh, the course is on sale right now. Blake, if you want to drop that link in the chat there, if anyone wants to enroll uh, in the course, um, it is open. And John, we're doing something special. If someone joins during the first hour of this live film review, what are we going to do? Yeah, everybody? just to just to get you even more excited. Yesterday during our live, we gave away a mentor session and a film review, and we're actually going to re review that film today. Um, to anyone that purchases and enrolls in the course in the next hour, you'll be entered to win. Um, a free film review in the second hour of this. So do we want to do it first come first serve, Nick, if you join that's, now? That's what I'm thinking. That's okay. I'm at thinking. least the first person to join completeweddingvideography.com. We will review a film of yours here at around three o'clock central since it's two right now. If you're just dying to get your film reviewed, you know, you want to get the course. Might as well do that. There's, I think, two or three spots left in the first 50 to join promo for the MacBook Pro. There's a lot of stuff going on. So mm -hmm. if you're on the fence about it and you're going to join on Sunday or something, or you're twisting your spouse's arm about it, twist it a little harder, join. And uh, we are going to take the first, maybe the first two that join, depending on how much time we have. Um, so if you're interested in that, head on over to the link that's over there. And then before we get going, can you hear us? Okay. I should have asked that earlier. If you can hear us in the comments, just say, hi, let us know where you're watching from. And maybe uh, drop an emoji, your your choice, uh, just on, on your energy level for today or what you're thinking about today. Um, but Nick, to these wedding film reviews, these are really exciting because we, we've done this, I think, our fourth one of these now, and people love them, or at least mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we have a system to actually grade these films that's a little different than just what we think but we break it down in different categories i'll let you talk about that nick um yeah. different categories but i don't know also we probably should tell them about the giveaway because there's a giveaway yeah. today too yeah there is a giveaway and we'll we'll get to that in a second but first what we're going to do we're going to break down how we do this is this is your first time watching our live film reviews uh so we have five categories that john and i are judging it we actually have these nice little sheets printed off that has all of this information so we're judging it on cinematography audio and sound design editing story and color is our criteria and there are a one out of five we can rate each one uh kind of how we have decided this is that a three is going to be what we consider um you know average good quality wedding filmmaking is a three industry so standard you, yeah industry standard that's the word i was looking for I, you know we haven't done these in a bit and so maybe i've, I've been two weeks words it's okay okay 
<laughs> okay. Continue. So we're saying a three is industry standard. And so um, if, if you get a four or a five, that means you're above or very above industry standard. Or if a two or a one, that's going to mean it's below or way below industry standard. And so um, we have each, John and I have 25 total points between the two of us that we can give and score these after we watch the film, we're going to sit down and watch the entire thing. And then we'll kind of break it down category by category, how we rated it. And we can talk about it. And one of the fun things about this is that sometimes I can change John's mind or he can change my mind, whether we making a number go up or go down. That's kind of the fun of this. And then one of the things that we love about this is if you get a 38 or higher, your film will be noted as an honorable distinction and uh, you will get a badge to put on your website. And also we will feature you on our Instagram account. And if you get a 45 or above, you are an official selection. Um, and that's just a more honorable uh, selection. And then you will also be featured on our Instagram account. So All right, Nick, big a, question though. Big yes. question. Yes. We didn't ever decide. And someone, I think it was Rodarte Productions, Rodarte, Rod Art, Rod Art, I don't know, said, are you going to do half points this time? If you think we should do half points, because we've, it's a one to five scale. Sometimes it's better than a three, but not quite a four. Should we allow half points? We're going to let you vote right now. Blake, can you put a vote thing in the comments? I think you can. Is that a, is that a possibility? That is a possibility. Blake, okay, why we're don't gonna... you put, put that yeah. in there? Half um, points, yes or no. Quick. Do it. I'll talk. Um, half points, yes or no. And then I'm going to say it, Nick, we are giving away more awesome stuff in celebration of launch week for our course. Nick's going to hold it up to the the screen there, but the Atomos Shinobi five inch monitor, 4k monitor, the monitor of choice that we've been using. Um, Blake uses one of you is going to be walking away with one of these. All you have to do is be present and uh, that QR code over there uh, that's on the screen right now. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, know. that's how you, you do it. And then also um, I'm sure Blake will put in the comments. So um, we have got a lot of votes, Nick. Um, we're going to let that, if you're just joining us, there's 74 people watching. Lol, Lol um, Photo and Films says no half points, just change our scale to to 100 instead of 50. <laughs> That'd probably be easier. Oh, it could be. <laughs> we're John, figuring this out. We're doing half points. Uh, the people I'm have still, spoken. We got 32 they, votes. Mm, 32 votes in 9, 88%. 51 votes now. Okay, we got a lot of votes coming in. What should we... We got 88% saying um, yes. To lock in your vote, all you have to do is hit the like button under the video. Um, I, 19 of you have locked that in. Just hit that like button for the YouTube algorithms, of course. I love saying that out loud. There's just something about it and then seeing that number go up. It's like, just push the button, give me a, a piece of fruit or like whatever. Um, anyway, did I say something? <laughs> no, did I say Mike Teeves, she... Mike Teeves yeah. film, which this guy always oh, has yeah. the good comments. Oh, yeah. He just said, oh, yeah. you have to like half gosh, this guy I get it. kills me. The puns, me. his TikTok is hilarious. And it's a travesty that he does not have more followers on his TikTok. I'm just saying, okay. Um, this monitor is going to be a great, so we, we given away earlier this week, we gave away, um, a monitor, an actual computer monitor during an editing mm -hmm. section thing. We mm -hmm. gave away a microphone yesterday and during a presentation, presentation, presentation. That's fun. And today we're giving away this 4K five inch monitor because we're talking about shooting and stuff like that today. So we're trying to kind of go on the theme here. Um, first film though, Nick, is the is the winner of yesterday, right? Just join the complete yes. wedding videography course. And if you're just joining, if you're one of the first two it, it might be three two to three people that join the complete wedding videography course during this hour we will review a film of yours review a film of yours um in the next hour live today so just yep. a little incentive if you're, you're ready to join so nick anything else we should be going over before we get into film reviews i think we're going to go ahead and look at that vote real quick 60 votes 87 percent say we should use the Haffy system we do happy birthdays at my house, so we might okay. as well do happy point systems. Okay, so we are doing a point five. You have to. You have. I'm not having it. 
Just call me John Pun. Okay, oh, let's do this oh. thing. Buckle up, let's Nick. Do this if thing. you're out there watching, maybe grab a piece of paper, maybe grab a, a note card, and we're going to be judging again on the cinematography, the audio and sound design, the editing, the story, and the color. Yep. Zero to five in each category. Half points allowed. Let's freaking go. Right. Okay. Um, the first one is Josh Hill of the Hills Media. He purchased our course yesterday. And so this is what he gets. We said we would review his film on YouTube. He said in the thing that he filled out that um, this was one of the very first weddings, I believe, that he filmed or put together, I believe, is what he said. So keep that in mind as we get going here. Short and sweet. Okay. First okay. film he did, right? Um, I it was I I need to go back and look, but I, I went. It was definitely he's definitely on the newer, the greener side yeah. of things for sure. Well, great job for being new for sure. Um, yes. I uh, I'm using the half point system, which is mm -hmm. freaking me out a little bit. I'm not gonna it, lie. It, it is. It is too. Um, also, as a reminder, we've got cinematography, audio, and sound editing, story, and color nick let's start with cinematography mm -hmm. um i'll let you start uh on your grade here three being industry standard two being a little below 
four being a little above, mm-hmm. five be blow your mind. You know, I sitting sitting and watching this, and if I didn't know that this was one of your first films, I yeah. I wouldn't have guessed that. You know, just just exactly. by sitting here and watching it. And so I gave I gave the cinematography a three straight. You know, there were um, you know, a, a few stuff that was a little moving and shake, but it wasn't anything, you know, that I didn't think that a lot of people would kind of do and a lot of people would kind of work with. And I I, I would say I, I think this is very passable. This is very industry standard as far as uh the camera movements and all that stuff go. What did you say? I agree. I feel like there were no like, you know, you'll see it in films, especially in newbies uh, that are like the camera movement starting one way and then like it jerks to another way or like a gimbal shot's not going and all of a sudden it starts. Um, so like we're talking cinematography, camera movement, creativity, composition, technique and fundamentals. I feel like it was solid. There was yeah. nothing about it where I was like, whoa, this is like, um, you know, next level. Or there wasn't like a shot or two in there that I was just like, this is the best shot of the film. It was all very consistent. So I as well would give this one a three. Okay. Um, all right. Moving on to audio and sound design. Um, I I gave this one a two. And the biggest reason was is there wasn't there wasn't any. <laughs> You know, and, uh, you know, being starting out, I think that, you know, as you people just get started, you know, that it seems to be that a lot of the dialogue and adding stuff in is something that is kind of a down the road kind of thing for most people. So um, that definitely would have propelled this. But I think if you would have had just some speaking stuff, that definitely would have bumped that up to a two and a half or possibly even a three. Okay, I'm going to give this one a two and a half. And okay. I, I might I might coerce you to bump yours up a half a point. I feel like the audio itself, I know he was just using a song for the most part, um, but it wasn't like it was blaring. It wasn't overdone. I mean, he might have just grabbed a song and dropped it in the timeline. That's fine. But he wasn't trying, uh, like it didn't duck too much. It didn't, it was consistent. Um, it. I gave it a two and a half because it was like literally no dialogue. If this was my first film, I've seen a lot in the comments. It's like, this is way better than my first film or one of my first films, years of films. Uh, and uh, yeah, I would have loved to have heard a couple of vows. I don't know, um, you know, really much about them after this film. Um, so just like on audio alone though, like you did include some clapping at one point during the ceremony uh, like after the kiss, like I heard a little bit of sound design there. I was listening for it and I was like, yep, there it is. Um, you had like the cheering at the end. Nick, you might, it might've been on a channel that's not in your ear. No, I, I heard it. I I, okay. I heard it. I, I heard it, but I, yeah, I, it think, wasn't great. I think the thing that, that makes me drop this is because in those couple of moments you included it, but that meant that you also like knew that you could use it and didn't use stuff in other spots. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So no, I, yeah, I, I agree. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to go to, I'm going to bump it down to a two. I, I went, I went the opposite. I agree with you, Nick. It it was lacking, um, in sound design audio. It wasn't bad. Like the music, it wasn't bad or what we could hear wasn't bad. And then there was a couple of times, like when you did use some of the audio, it just like hard cut in instead of transitioned in, uh, like, especially at the end of the film, like they're cheering all of a sudden like cuts out. Um, So some of those things that are a little jarring, pay attention to those. Next up is editing. Yeah. What do you, what do you have to say about that? Okay. So what we're looking for with editing is pacing, creativity, technique, flow, and skill. I gave this one a two and a half um, because I feel like it was, uh, it was paced the same throughout. Um, There wasn't much creativity. Um, the technique of the edit just seemed like a pretty linear edit. I feel like to get a um, a two on this one would not be. I mean, it it was it made sense the edit itself. I know that the story is next, um, but to me, I'm giving this one two and a half. What about you? I also wrote down a two and a half for the same stuff. It was about very very similar. Lots of slow motion relying on that, um, but. Uh, in in the same regard for um, you know people that are just getting going, I think that this is pretty pretty on par for what mm-hmm. a lot of people are doing. And so, uh, yeah, two and a half for me, John. This is an embarrassing. My pen 
stopped writing. My goodness. Everyone make fun of Nick in the comments. Pin jokes welcomed. Yeah. Okay. Pin jokes. Um, story going into that, the emotion, the storytelling, the creativity, the depth. Uh, I, I put this one at a two. Um, mm -hmm. And that that's simply because there wasn't really anything. Um, and, and it's not like uh, there could have been something there or, you know, whatever, but I, I put, I put it at a two because I, there's definitely lots of room for improving. I think adding just a little bit of spoken stuff from the officiant or from a toast or something like that definitely would have, could have easily made this one be a three at industry standard. Exactly the same. I have the same thoughts. Um, I feel like for this being so early, you know, this might've been one of those situations where it was like, Hey, last minute, they're like, you can do video for us. And he just put something together. It was actually, I would be happy with this. If I got this film, yeah. like, I don't feel like it's up to a standard of someone that's charging, you know, in the States, a few thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars or anything like that. But, um, you know, if this was a 500 to $1,500 thing, I would be not, I would not be upset with it, but um lots of room for improvement but it wasn't bad like i don't i'm not sitting here thinking Ugh. like i watched through it it's like uh, yeah it was three minutes if it was seven minutes i probably would have been like oh my goodness like this is too long without the story without um you know that sort of thing so um, i gave it a two as well okay last on the color what do you have to say about that so uh on the color it seemed as though the camera was just probably on auto when it came to color. So some of the shots were good uh, color, the outdoors where the light was great. Some of them were a little off. I gave this one a two um, as well. Um, it was, it was fine, um, but there wasn't any style in the color. There wasn't, there was a few shots I feel like were colored. Like it was consistent. Like the, the, the color throughout the film wasn't like, Whoa, that one shot was like super cool compared to all the other ones or things like that. So, um, but it, it, wasn't like I watched it and thought this this film has been color corrected um, in post, maybe not even at all. So, yeah, yeah. And I agree. I also gave this one a two um, again, you know, just just do more reps, learn more. You're going to continue to uh, get better with that. I'm so. so excited because he joined the complete wedding videography course, just watching through your editing module, your color grading, uh, the sound design side of it. Um, the, then watching the behind the scenes of shooting, it seems like an incredible start for you. Like I can't Definitely. imagine a film like this when I first got started investing into myself this early. Um, that would be insane. Um, one thing I was going to say in the comments, a couple of people asked where you can submit. There is a form. Not sure we'll get to it today, but we'll put you in the queue. If you for sure want us to watch a film, we're doing a special um, where if you join the Complete Wedding Video course, before the end of this hour, we're going to pick one or two of you to review your film. So like, if you're like dying to get in the course and you want a film review, this is a great way to do it today. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Anything John, else? I'm going to let you um, talk real quick about the course or our giveaway or something. I'm going to go find another pin because I okay. need a pin. I need a pin. This is, did we, yeah. did we do any pen puns? Did we have some? Um, right off. <laughs> we'll have to write off Nick's notes. Um, okay. I uh, just submitted my film. Mm. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So a couple things, Got Nick, one. you're already back with a pen, man. I, I just think looked so. Over. You can keep talking. You can talk. No, I'm good. I'm ready for this next film. I think if we get it queued up, um, Blake's ready with it and I want to, hold if, on. If we, what, what we didn't, did we talk about the overall score? Oh, no, no, no. We I'm didn't. sorry. I, I had 11.5. That is exactly what I had. So 23 points on your first film not too shabby not my too first shabby. film would have gotten like a four which means a zero on a category <laughs> uh, or a half point on each category all right how do you guys like this uh style do you if you do uh, let us know in the comments all right continue oh right. we're ready for you Blake. Uh, yeah we are we are moving on to the next film this is blue couch production it's interesting how prayers work. Ever since I was a little girl, I prayed for this love and this partnership. Whoa. I prayed for a man who would love and respect himself, 
who was kind, charming, funny, very smart, and <laughs> very good looking. <laughs> As Charlene's slightly older sister, I assume the role as her protector, her mentor, and best friend. I felt an overwhelming responsibility to ensure that she grew up to be the best person that she possibly could. While I didn't always lead by example, she turned out to be the most amazing young woman that I could ever have imagined. A couple of years ago, we are actually on our way to have dinner. And then he'll ask me, hey buddy, do you think it's, you know, it's time to to find someone. It's like, man, you know what? You will find someone. You will find someone at some point that you really actually love. You will take care of her. And that time came. Sometimes I thought about, like, what is it that I would say about you on your special day? Because you're just so vast. Star, you are a rare gem that comes once in a lifetime. A true radiant star, whom I'm also blessed to call my sister, my protector, and most of all, my friend. When you came home one day talking about this guy that you met in Vegas over your birthday weekend, I was like, um, no, <laughs> not happening. But then the day came where I finally got to meet the guy from Vegas. But in true Daniel fashion, <laughs> he was able to charm me to mush. You give me so much love that words cannot express, but the beat of your heart can. You are so humble, so kind, so minimal. Thank you for teaching me what a true partnership is but most of all for supporting me in everything that I do. Honestly, couldn't have asked for a better life partner for my sister. I see the way that you look at her, the way that you care for her, and the way you make her your priority. I can literally feel the love that you have for her and her for you. I cherish you as my life partner, as the future mother of my children, as a member of my family. I promise to give you my heart, my loyalty, and respect for the rest of our lives. Amongst all, I promise to grow and start new beginnings with you. 
to travel the world and one day teach our children the meaning of love, kindness, and respect. I'm committed to love you, to support you, and to protect you. To improving every second of every day so I can forever be the husband you deserve. I love you. Well done. Sarlene and Daniel. Great font there at the end, even. Nick. Uh initial initial feedback, thoughts. Um very good. Okay. How's that? How's that? How's that this is where feedback? you come to get the advice from John and Nick. This is what you're gonna get. Very good. Tell me about my film. Very good. Good. Good job. Um, no, great job, you all. Um, okay. As a reminder, categories, cinematography is the first one, camera movement, creativity, composition, technique, fundamentals. I'm going to be using my half points, I think, a lot on this one, Nick. Maybe not. Yeah. Um, the cinematography in this one was above average uh, to me. I, it's mm -hmm. definitely the the gimbal shots of people walking in, the angles the different like the way that it was the movement in the camera there was some creative shots the composition and a lot of those were cool with the bride on the couch looking out the window was cool light was really good like just uh technique fundamentals this was above average i'm sit three and a half right now i might bump it to a four after i hear from you <laughs> okay uh i actually i actually put this at a four Okay. Um, for all of the things that you said, I maybe could have gone a little bit higher, but there were a couple things like I might've done a four and a half, a couple things didn't during their first look, the gimbal movement where you are moving stuff around and I get capturing the moment is more important than, you know, getting the camera and all that stuff. So I understand why that was in there and everything, but just that moving, that movement was very, it took me out a little bit. Also the banding in the reception space. And yeah. I know that like that's one of those things that sometimes it just sucks and you have to deal with it and you like you might have done the best that you could but unfortunately it kind of like oh you can just tell that something's off a little bit so i i might have gone a little bit higher actually like a four and a half if it weren't for for that stuff yeah another thing that stood out to me um was there was like a i'm a really big stickler on like room footage footage of the room uh, one of the angles, like you shot towards like the stage of the band instead of standing mm -hmm. where the stage mm -hmm. was shooting back towards the room. I'm sure it was like full of people um, that would have pushed it up like little things like that. Uh, the banding was a thing. Um, again, I, I just where the speeches were happening. There was a woman with a fan just like going crazy in the background. It kind of like drew me away from um, composition. Like I, obviously you can't. There, there's so many things that are a live event, um, but I didn't. Did we see the couple's reaction during speeches at all? There, there was there was one. There was one okay. shot that definitely like, that was in there. Then also, I feel like there were so many good shots of. I so think that many you need things. to go higher than a three and a half, like especially um, with a lot of the compositions when they were getting ready, um, and then a lot of those movements whenever like stuff was going on during the ceremony, how they use those. Um, like them walking out and, you know, the, the ocean was yeah. in focus. They were out of focus. And, and, uh, and I, I forgot about those killer drone shots uh, at the yeah. beginning. I'm going to bump it up to four. Not just because you told me to. No, you um, are. It's it's because I, hold and I don't want to be the over. same as you. Well, it was, you made good points. Um, I'm doing my best to be uh, like a referee that doesn't have a favorite team or something, but like, I love a good destination. Like I'm not trying to just, you know, but that made it easier for the cinematography to be like beautiful, mm -hmm. but great job um, on category one. Okay. Moving on to category two, audio and sound design. I went first on the last one, Nick, you go first. Yeah. Um, I, I'm kind of going, but I'm going to, I'm going to put this at a four for right now. Um, and here, I, I think you went above and beyond um, 
th than what is, you know, most people are doing when it comes to the sound, um, you know, adding in sound effects, you know, with uh, the ambient noises, including on camera audio as well. Uh, another thing that was great was your toast audio was really clean. It was really nice. Um, I could hear everything really, really well. Um, and so I'm going to give a four, which is definitely above industry standard, but there wasn't anything specifically with the sound that made me just go, okay, that that's at the, the top of the top or anything like mm -hmm. that. So uh, anyway, that that's a great, you're, you're doing way more than a lot of people and it really helps. I mean, I saw the first 30 seconds of this film and so many people were like, holy cow, what? Like how this is like already in a big part of that, your shots paired with the sound design that you're using. That's really what pulled people in and make them say that stuff. So, yeah, so I many before. good moments. Same here for, for me. So many good moment moments on the sound. Uh, I felt like some of the audio, like of uh, dialogue, needed a little bit of work. Like, uh, like it would like, cut in and out a little bit harsh. I like maybe I was hearing it in my headphones wrong. Four is going to be like uh, this is next level. So it was it was really good. It was way above industry standard. Um, so many little sound effects, little things in there that didn't take away from the film. Like I'm sitting here thinking, what were the sound effects? What were, mm -hmm. and none of them were like, Ooh, that one was, that one felt fake. That one felt, um, and then the audio during, you know, the ceremony, obviously you're able to tap into the microphone, the big, good microphone speeches, same thing. You did a good job capturing the audio. I give you a four. Um, okay. Editing, Editing here. Yeah. Pacing, creativity, technique, flow, and skill. I went back and forth on this one between a three and a half and a four. And that's where I'm currently still sitting. I wrote three and a half down on my paper, but I don't really have a reasoning for not pushing it up to a four. I feel like um, you did a really good job with the edit. There were a lot of, especially the opening, like drew me in really well. Um, so... Trying to Nick, I want you to talk about like editing things you saw. Um, I feel yeah. like it was creative. Like the technique was great. I don't feel like there was anything that really stood out. Yeah. It was so bad. so here's to me. I I'm I'm on a three and a half, three point five on this one, and I think if it's only the first song, I'm probably at a four. But yeah. then when we went into the second song, it lost a little bit, and I know it was a more upbeat energy song, but to me it there was a little bit that fell off whenever we got into that, that second song with that. And so um, that that's where I'm going to say with the edit and the flow and all like the pacing was nice. The flow was nice, everything. And, but then whenever we moved into that second song, it lost a little bit. So I don't know if that was how it I was think... edited to the second song or if the second song just wasn't the right, like fit for what the first song kind of set up. If that makes sense. That's yeah. That's how well, I was like fully in right on the, at the beginning of this film's like, Oh my goodness. Like I'm here, I'm in, it's drawn me in. And then I caught myself as it got a little closer to the end, kind of like losing focus a little bit or kind of getting lost. It's just like, kind of felt like your, your standard, just kind of highlight film. Um, there were some cutbacks and some things that like kept it in as interesting as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I landed on a three um, okay. is, is what oh, I you landed, landed on a three. I'm sorry. Three and a half. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No, sorry. Fine. I was looking, I was looking at my next one. <laughs> so tell me about story, John, what do you, what yeah. do you have on this? Uh, I gave this one a three. Okay. <laughs> I think this was great. Uh, I was it, like, but to me, I'm the story guy. That's a little harsher on the story. Like I got to know a little bit about them, them meeting in Vegas, them, um, you know, I, I learned a little bit about them, but I felt like it didn't go deeper than kind of what you would factory standard industry standard here on a wedding day on the story. Um, I'm talking emotion. Is it captivating? Is there depth to the story? Um, literally just thinking about the, the story of this wedding. Um, like, did they all do a destination there? Are they local there? Are they, um, I, I don't know. And I don't, I don't know. I just feel like it was, there was nothing really lacking, but there was nothing like pushed me over the edge on the story. Yeah. Um, I, I agree. Um, I'm, I'm still thinking mulling it over. I was going three, three and a half mulling it over in my head on this one. Um, you know, there were some really nice moments with the, um, 
the toast and that kind of thing. I, I, I think I'll probably land on the three for this one as well. Um, there were some really nice moments and some good um, interaction, you know, with the toast givers and how they were talking about the couple and, and that sort of stuff. But um, I, I think I would have liked to see a little bit more whenever it came to, to the story side of things. So yeah. Um, Again, it, it was really good. It just wasn't, yeah. there was nothing about it where I was just like, okay, this story is, you know, uh, you made up for it with a lot of these other categories and a three is not a bad thing to get. Um, no, no. Last thing, color, cohesive technique. Does it enhance the film? What's the skill? Like, are they using skill for color in the shooting and the edit? What uh, color? Nick, what do you think? Um. Yes, I would say yes, definitely. Um, I, uh, especially just how it opened in the color, the palette um, was a factor in helping draw me in um you know again there was the banding you know during the toast and stuff but that's not a color issue that's a you know recording issue um i you know whenever we got into the reception stuff i didn't notice you know i saw lights i didn't notice anything that made me really go this doesn't this doesn't look like it fits you know what you're doing when it comes to color i think i think i'm going to end up on a 4 with this one for the color that's what I wrote down because I okay. think it was next level. Like I really liked a, like the way that they color graded this film. I think a couple of like, once it got dark out, I didn't notice anything where I was like, Ooh, the skin tones are like looking really bad. But like, I really liked how they showed that it was a nicer event. The colors kind of went with that, but it also showed um, the, you know, the color, and like the drone shots and the like the ceremony shots and all the like it was all color graded very well to help me feel like I was there. I feel like uh, color to me was really, really uh, good compared uh, you know, to just like the industry standards. So I gave that a four. Yeah. Yeah. OK. So that there we go. for me, four, eight, twelve, eighteen point five is what I gave. That is also what I gave, which. 37. That's a 37. Oh, Richard, so close. Was 38 so, the number? 38 is the number to get. Whew, that was close. 37. 37. Okay. Let's but see. really good. Like, really, really solid. You should be really proud of that film. That's, yeah, that was really that was good. Incredible. So that was, that was very good. Well done. What did you think about the film? Let us know in the comments. Give yeah, these Blue Couch Productions, is that what it's called? Blue Couch Productions, yep. Give yeah. Give them uh, a shout out and tell them that they did a good job. Yeah. Anything we need to announce or talk about before we move into the next one? A couple people are asking how to submit for films. Um, Blake put a link in there. I think we're almost closed on uh, that link. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah we're, we're just yeah. trucking along. We, if you want to win yeah. that monitor. Yeah. yeah, if you want to win that monitor, Blake, if you want to throw that up big screen just for a second there, if you can, um, you can click this link here, fill out this form. And at the end of uh, of today's thing, we are going to give away an Atomos Shinobi monitor right here. There it is. You can see that on screen, this Adam Atomos Shinobi monitor. We're going to give that away to one lucky winner. The thing is, you just have to uh, be here to win it. You know, don't be like the person that we gave something away last week and they weren't here, so they didn't win it. So you need to be here. Gotta for be that. present. And there's be present. 86 of you watching right now. So thanks yeah. for being here. Uh, Vandaloom Film says, I don't know if I was in too much awe from the opening drone shots, but I'm pretty shocked this didn't receive at least a 40. I get it. And I think that where it, to me, just for what it's worth on this film, it just started to drag in that second song. That's really, yep. it. to me, for it to be like a certified... And obviously we weren't trying to keep it one point under, we just gave it scores and, uh, but there, that second song just kind of brought it the second half of the film just kind of brought it down. The first half of the film, I think was a 42, 43 kind of film. Um, so great job. It just yeah. putting that whole thing together. They may have been contractually obligated to do a longer film and had to, you know, stretch it out a lot of different mm -hmm. things there, but great, yeah. great job. Yeah. And again, as we are, we'll continue to talk about this. If you sign up and enroll in the complete wedding video course in the next probably 20 minutes or so, we will re review your film, one of your films here live today for sure. That's something we will, we will get you in there to do that today. So uh, are we ready for our next film, Blake? I think you have it queued up. 
This is a films by Emily, Emily Russell film. So John, you good? You ready? I'm so good and I'm so ready. All right. Let's uh let's do this. And I'm talking to like the bridal party and friends. There is the videographer and photographer. It is our duty to ham it up because Michael will be watching this footage more than he'll care to admit. <laughs> Wedding day one. The future is gone. Nice. Dearly beloved, we have finally come together <laughs> in the presence okay. of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Okay, black and white. My and Christina have had to weather an incredible challenge in delaying their wedding for two years while we all fought through this pandemic. They wanted to do it the right way so they could share this moment with you, the Mike and Christina way. They never wavered and wanted to hold the wedding of their dreams without shortcuts. This shows the kind of people they are and how important today is and how much they love all of you. To my amore, I can't believe this day is finally here. The day we've been waiting for and wanting for for years now. A day that has truly been 10 years in the making. As you well know, everything changed for both of us on that fateful night over 10 years ago. We've already been through everything together since then. And I know it sounds cheesy, but I continue to fall more in love with you every single day, simply because there's one more day of you to love. <laughs> Let's talk about when Michael met Christina. Christina and I turned 21 the day before Thanksgiving, the number one going out day of the year. So we went to Northside. I met these seniors when we were freshmen, and we're just yeah. talking, and then the bar closes. <laughs> Mike Roselli offers up his hot tub. <laughs> his mom's hot tub. <laughs> the next day, Michael said to me, Mom, I, this girl, there's something about her. There's just something different about her. Not even an exaggeration when Christina and Mike laid eyes on each other. Their connection was genuinely instant. By Christmas of that year, Mike was a done deal. Here we are. <laughs> and here we are. God bless you both. It's about time. <laughs> but now it's real. Yeah, the days <laughs> The most authentic, truest version of Christina is when she's with Mike. We're not sure if anything else really matters to us more. Us Rosellis don't know what we do without you. You are so beautiful, so kind, intelligent, and so funny. We're really not sure what you're getting out of this, <laughs> but we do not hate it. to walk down the aisle today towards you, but really what I can't wait for the most is to walk through life with you. You're my one true Mori, and I'm so lucky to have found you in this life. Words can't describe how big my heart swells for you. I love you to the moon and back a million times. 
Amore, I am so excited to be your wife. Let's do this. <laughs> Can we slow this down? I know. <laughs> it's me. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And, and um, I, it's just a moment I've been dreaming about my whole life. And when I see it, I know it's, it's going to be everything I hope for and more. Welcome to the family. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. imagine a more amazing couple to look up to. You both are the example of unwavering love. All I can say about that night that already hasn't been said is hot tubs are made for true love. Um, and according to Mary Jean that night, it was my fault because you're supposed to be the responsible one. <laughs> From this day and every day after, I vow to stand by you, love you, hold you, laugh with you, and love you for the rest of our years to come. I promise to be there with every moment, to honor you, and to always fight for you with every ounce of you. You don't just mean the world, you are. How long will I love you? As long as the stars are above you. Now that Christina and Michael have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Let us say Amen. Amen. <laughs> Can't contain the joy. <laughs> Michael and Christina, may your marriage be filled with love, joy, and lots of dancing. Good job, Emily. It's pretty. How Good long job. was that film? Nine minutes. It was like nine minute film, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty great for being nine minutes. Uh, okay. 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 Here we go. Um, all right. I'm gonna start cinematography, camera movement, creativity, composition, technique, fundamentals. Um, I feel like this is very solid. I think that couple things held me back from giving this a three and a half or a four. I'm giving it a three for now. Um, mm -hmm. When it comes to just like 
composition was one of them. I know you were limited in the, it looks like rehearsal dinner or whatever. The bar was right behind them. It was really distracting. Same thing with the toast, even though it was lit really well. Um, the, the toasts were, um, it's funny. We can see on screen what Blake is showing us and he's showing us the groom with no pants on. Um, sorry. Uh, the toast, like the, during the reception, I feel like there was a bunch of cords hanging down and like speakers. And if you just like move the camera a little bit or place them in a little different spot, um, on the composition. But I feel like, uh, another thing was just like during the ceremony there was some like 180 rule stuff that was broken, the camera operator is in the back of the shot for a little while when the up at the front, when the groom was kissing his mom or hugging his mom or someone up there was doing that. Um, so there were some things that more so like what was in front of the camera. Um, and then also just some of the, like the exposure during the first look with dad, there was some, some things like that that like took me away from all of the really cool stuff that mm -hmm. you did. So there were a lot of things that were like way above average. And then there were some things that were like, Ooh, that, that needs some work on the cinematography. So that's why I ended up landing at a three. I know that was a, a lengthy explanation from my end. Nick, what do you think? Let's get uh, a different score than the same thing this time. <laughs> okay. So just kidding. no, no, if you give it a three, it's fine. I'm just messing I, with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely giving this one a three. Um, it was, you know, there were, there were some shots that were, um, wow composition and wow, this looks great. And, and that stuff. And then the other ones, you know, like the dad with the first look and just how the camera was moving and then just the angles of some of the other stuff were like, oh, I wish that, you know, could have moved it or stuff around. So I would say a three, again, very industry standard. Um, you know, this is, I know you do an incredible work in this. There, there's lots of, lots of great things in there. And I think just paying attention to some of those things and who knows, maybe it was, you know, your not you, maybe it was your second shooter and you just needed to use some of that stuff too, you know, cause it was a longer film, which we understand too, but I would give this one a three for that. So. Cool. All right. You can do okay. the next category first. Okay. Moving, moving on to audio and sound design. Um, I gave, I gave this one a three and a uh, few reasons why one, it sounded like the um, audio levels of the people speaking, especially from the bride to the groom when they were doing their letters, like they weren't they hers was louder than his or maybe it was the background music was too loud or you know maybe they were kind of the same but just his voice is lower so it's a little bit harder to pick up um th though though that was a big a big reason with that the other was again you know uh some of that reception audio speaking and again that could have been um you know something messed up with your recorder or the dj messed up but it sounded like for a lot of those you were using just your on camera audio to record that mm -hmm. stuff so uh that's that's why i ended up with a three on that one um for those yeah i had written down three and a half then i had written down uh like a four, then back down to it. And I landed on a three. Some of the things that really stood out to me on the audio were like some peaking issues. It felt like um, on microphones a couple of times where like the bride, the bride was mic'd up. It seems. And so, but it was like first look with dad, she's like yelling and it's peaking and a um, couple of things that just um, made the audio feel like it was industry standard for sure. Um, but like you almost took it to that next level. Um, and what brought it back and nailed it down for the three to me was whatever happened with the speech audio, um, whether the feed was wrong or something felt like on camera, like Nick said, like not even having a backup, um, for that, like, it seemed like there might've been a, uh, like a Sony TX 660 on it at one point, but, um, oh on one of the speeches or, but like, I, it just didn't sound great, um, on a lot of the different parts of it, but then like you did so much audio, so many, like the letter reading sounded great. Um, those were above average. So it just kind of brought it back to that three for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Next thing, editing, pacing, yeah. creativity, technique, flow, and skill. I actually gave this one a four. Um, I think you did a really good job with the editing, especially um, just the intro and the outro to the film felt very, edited really well together. I like how you kept interesting shots in the pacing was really great. There was a lot of creative shots. I don't know if it was, uh, I don't know where we need to talk about the groom, not wearing pants. Uh, but, uh, I just think it was kind of like a funny comedic break and it was probably totally his, 
uh, vibe to not be wearing. I mean, pants. he might be wearing shorts, like shorts, not like yeah. his underwear. You know? She Obviously said in the not comments wearing... it was shorts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So she said it was shorts, but it was still just kind of funny. I loved it. Um, yeah. yeah it, it was definitely great. Um, but yeah, the edit. I feel like the editing was uh, far above average for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I've been going back with a three and a half and a four back on this one. I think I'm going to, I'm going to end up going on a four, John, I keep copying you or you copying me or whatever. One thing that I really, enjoyed right. that, yeah, you are, um, Excuse me. one thing is the more films I watch is that people tend to not listen to the music when they're editing and they like focus on, okay, this is an emotional moment. So I need something emotional to go in here or, okay, this, this song is upbeat. And so I'm just going to, you know, be upbeat or let, let that carry the film, I guess is what I'm trying to say, you know, but what you've done here is like edited quickly to the beat, which I think a lot of people don't they have a tough time doing. And mm-hmm. I really, that really drew us in at the beginning um, in that uh, in the, the first song where the, the climax happened, you were like cutting around and doing a bunch of the, that was a really, really good editing thing at the end, same way. So I, I, I ended up with this one with a four. Uh, so good great job. job with that one. Um, story, Jonathan story. I'm a big story fan. And I think you crushed it. Um, I think you did a really good job telling the story of these two, like you were showing, I think the bar at one point that they met at, I think that like, um, just layering in all the different speeches, the beginning of the story, drawing me in, like with the bridesmaids saying what they said and just like bringing you right in. It was a different kind of captivating storytelling technique at the beginning. So many layers of speeches. And the letters and the first looks and the ceremony and just, I think you did a really good job telling the story of this couple, um, not just even the wedding day. And I think that's for me, what takes it over the top for me as a nostalgic heirloom kind of guy is like, did you capture the story of the day? And yes, you did that. But did you capture the story of the couple? And that's where it takes it a little bit further for me. I would have loved to have seen somehow if there were any photos taken of that night at the the hot tub or if they're they again this is rare that this happens or like some footage of them from their phones as they were dating to kind of pair with some of this stuff as there was so much about their story in it i don't always think there needs to be that but um i feel like there was a lot of emotion i feel like it was had good depth and i felt like it was captivating so i'm giving it a four yeah. What about you, Nick? Um, yes, yes. Um, I uh, I knew this would be at least a three and a half, if not a four, and just listening. But I really appreciated all the things. Um, I think one of the, the ways to really get to know a couple is to just spend more time with them. And you obviously did some sort of like rehearsal dinner coverage. Uh, they had two weddings uh, some in some form or fashion that you ended up capturing. And so that just helps to get more dialogue, more stuff, more things that you can use. So I'm going to, I'm going to land on a four as well. Um, I think when it comes to story, spending more time with them, getting to know them more, connecting at more points, uh, through the entire process is just going to help. So I will also give that a four. Great job, Nicholas. All right. Last category. You get to start this bad boy. Last, last is color. Um, there, there were, there were definitely some inconsistencies that I saw that I picked up throughout. And, um, I, I ended up with a three on this one for color. Um, there were some stuff that was really good and some stuff that was, you know, a little overexposed or a little magenta or a little, uh, this or that, but definitely, I would say this is definitely passable as an industry standard type, um, color, uh, color. Yes. Good th- th- words. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I I'm having a tough time with words, but uh, yes, I will say that this is a three. Um, great job. Um, just a little, you know, some shots like when you're outside or maybe in full sun or stuff, you know, a um, little bit more difficult than others. So, what do you have to say? Yeah, I had three point five on this one. Brought it back down to a three. I'm going to talk it through, and uh, then I will make my final score here. The thing that I think that kind of was. A little bit uh, inconsistent to me is usually what is the best color of the day, which is like the couple portraits 
outside. They felt very orange. They felt mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like it, it just felt like you missed it on the recording of it or something. And then the drone shots, the drone shots also just seemed like they just seemed a little cheap. The color, I don't know what it was. It didn't feel like there was much depth. I don't know what drone you were on. Um, it just felt like uh, there was something missing to the color on the drone shots. Um, I loved the color um, of like the toasts at the reception. Um, there was a lot of good indoor stuff. The ceremony, I feel like you did a really good job with the color. I just feel like the skin tones outside were very inconsistent. Um, not crazy. I don't think they would notice it, um, but very inconsistent as in getting up to like that four level. So I mean, I'm actually... I think I'm gonna land on a three for this one. Did you say three on that one too? Yeah, I did say three. That's I funny. Three. Okay. Uh so I have uh three, a three, a four, four, three. Um that's what I have. We're the same person. Uh so I've got 17, is... you've got 17, so 34. 34. Which I great mean job. really, really good. 30 job. 30 is gonna be like you're just as good, if not better, than most anyone in your market. So anything over that. Um, obviously, I feel like this is next level. Uh for uh, you know this is way way better than industry standard and you should be proud of this film so um, hopefully take those notes i know emily was in our mastermind group she made some notes on the in the comments about contractual length of the film things like that i do think that this film would be much better at like a five minute film like most of us that have to make an eight or nine minute film so you did a really good job with this kudos to you okay nick we're coming up at the end of our first hour we're going to go about an hour longer before we push uh, forward any longer, just want to remind you all, we are giving away a Atomos Shinobi monitor, 4K, 5-inch monitor uh, to somebody that's watching live. We've got 103 of us uh, watching now. Uh, thank you for doing that. Um, if this is helpful, this information is helpful to you, do us a favor and hit the like button under this video. That means the world to us. And if you don't subscribe to us already, please do. We put new content out on our YouTube channel weekly um we've got our podcast on here so it just means the world to us we just passed ten thousand subscribers we've been working really hard trying to get free content so hopefully this is helpful to you so be sure to enter to win that and then lastly it's enrollment week if you're on the fence about the complete wedding videography course send us a dm on instagram um, hit us up in the comments here we'll try to answer questions about it but it's our complete system for running a wedding film business, everything you need to know to run a six figure wedding video business. Our categories are business shooting, editing. We've got all of our pricing guides, all of our templates, all of our, everything that we have in our digital template shop is in the course and it's 1497 or you can get started for 147 today. Um, so yeah, that's the the pitch for that. Thank you guys for hitting like on that video and hopefully this is helpful. Nick, anything you want to add before we move on to jd productions video um i don't think so i am uh i am ready um i am ready for this neat so blake well, whenever I say, you're ready i say we, we get going come before you and we're so excited we literally can't wait to be married god and it's only um because of you and by your spirit that you brought wesley and i into fellowship with you god i pray over all the details, but every person attending, Lord, that their eyes would be fixed on you. And as they look at us, that they would see a picture of you, Jesus, and how you love your church. Lord, I just, I love Wesley. He's my best friend. And you knew what you were doing. And so I ask that you would just help us to grow in friendship and love all the days of our life. All right, God, we're ready. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Father. Uh, we love you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. There are four verses that talk about how the work we do in this life is better with a partner. In Ecclesiastes 4, it says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. (laughs) Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? 
Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. The third strand in here is, represents God. And that, that's really what they're asking for too, is they desire for God to be at the center of their marriage. Loving you is fun. It is refining and it teaches me about Jesus. You point me to truth when I begin to rely on my feelings and circumstances. You reject worry and anxiety, and you have fun with all the moments given to you. You help me to laugh and not take life so seriously. You love me intentionally and consistently, and I have never felt safer or more of myself. I promise to be your teammate and your biggest confidant. With his help, I will slow down to give you the quality time that you need. I will strive to be on time for you. <laughs> when things are hard, we will look to God and I will not leave. Celia, I take you to be my beautiful bride before God and all of these witnesses. And I promise to you to be a strong spiritual leader and lead our house as Christ leads me. I vow to be abounding in love and in patience to be present for the joys and the sorrows in life, to partner with God to protect you in a physical and spiritual way. I vow to do all these things through the power that Christ that strengthens me. Celia, I love you so much, and now I get the honor and pleasure of loving you forever. Wesley, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Caldwell. So he would always check in on me. So we'd message once a month, and he told me that he met this girl. I'm like, oh, that's cool, I guess. And he's like, I'm gonna marry that girl. I was like, it's very confident. A year and a half later, he has proven his word. So I know you picked the right man. Nick, I was dancing for you. You didn't even respond. You just were Sorry. like, I'm used to th I'm used to this at this point. I tune uh, you out. Yeah, you do. I heard someone say uh, I was shaking my buns. Never heard that oh, joke. That's a good one. You are definitely shaking your buns. Okay. Um, this is like so this film to me is like the tale of two films. It was like two different, two completely different films split right in the middle, if you ask me. Right. It was like super chill super calm super churchy super jesus but, focused and then boom we're dancing stunting with the bible but, on the screen <laughs> but, but i felt like it it like it fit them like sure. th this is one where you're like man i don't know what's going on here but like if there wouldn't have been the hype party that their reception was 
I would be like, well, what? N- nope. Uh, this this is you're trying to force something, but I think it uh, it worked. They were definitely shotgunning beers. They oh, I think that was. was Red Bull. Was it Red Bull or was it like a Michelob? Oh, no, those were Michelob. I, I, that was definitely yeah. a, a beer. So uh, yeah, it just was like okay, it like starting out with this like super prayer, which is great. I mean, this okay. All right, let's get into this. Um, is this okay. JD Cobb? Is this JD? This video? is JD Cobb. Yep. Okay. Yep. He's uh, What's up, JD? he's one of our mastermind friends. Yep. Um, okay. Shooting cinematography, camera movement, creativity, composition, technique, and fundamentals. I'm going to, I'm going to give this one a three, um, yep. you know, very, very industry standard. I would, uh, I noticed a lot of additional movements specifically whenever the gimbal was being used, like stuff like kind of up and down or side to side or stuff that just wasn't like totally, uh, super straight. So that was really some things that I, I, I saw that were apparent, um, in that, which maybe pre- prevented me a little bit from going a little bit higher, but, um, yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Uh, I agree. Um, I wrote down a three. <laughs> I am rhyming now. Uh, <laughs> I agree. It's a three. Yeah. I feel like the, when I'm looking, I'm just like looking back and forth at the sheet saying camera movement, creativity, composition, technique, and fundamentals. And we'll get to color later, which is a different um, thing, but like, like we're seeing on the screen, like the shot of the ceremony have mixed like sun coming in and out and which is difficult. Um, Like some harsh light conditions. Like, so you were working uh, hard. It seemed like it's very cool tones when it was outside you got some warm stuff. We'll talk color in a second. Sorry. Um, but I feel like the camera movement was nice. Um, I don't feel like there was just a ton of like jittery things that didn't need to be there. I feel like there were some creative shots, like shooting the uh, muddy up the foreground, showing up, up the ceremony. You had some creative angles of some stuff. Um, some of the things that pulled me away, like the shot of the prayer, I know you were trying to like see her face, but like backgrounds and stuff are really important. And it's like, we're getting this like really sweet prayer. Then it cuts to her praying, but then there's just like random people walking around in the background. Um, mm-hmm. Some of the wires just off the keyboard showing, right? Just like this stuff that just isn't flattering. There was a gimbal shot pushing down the aisle at one point, And it was like, there's speakers that you could see. And it's like, you cut the shot right whenever you could have not had speakers in the frame. So like, you still could have got that gimbal shot without showing off. And, and those are little ticky tack things to me that like, not necessarily on the cinematography, but just like kind of showing off the wedding in a way that's like the most beautiful. Um, if you just would pay attention a little bit more to like the edges of the frame, what's in the frame. Um, but yeah, fundamentally solid. I give this thing a three audio yeah. sound design. Um, Nick, I talked a lot, so I'm going to go back over to you. Uh, we're looking quality, clarity, the sound effects, sound design itself, technique. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, I I'm sitting here. I can't, there, there wasn't anything that glaring made this, um, go way below, go below industry standard or above industry standard. You know, I thought that it was pretty standard. Um, you know, uh, I, I think it, it sounded like, uh, the best man toast, you know, that maybe it was on camera mic, or maybe it was, uh, uh you know, the mic that was uh, like one of those, uh, Sony ones that was on the mic or something like that. It sounded really room echoey that it wasn't, you know, like the feed from the DJ board or something like that. Um, I, I didn't hear much in the way of like adding in some sound design or some sound effects or, you know, that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a three. Um, yeah. It's broken broken, broken record over here. I've written yeah. down three as well. I, again, I feel like the thing that I was looking, I was going to, I was trying to push it past on, on the, this category, but like the audio of the speeches, um, like that, like just, it felt like on camera, there wasn't anything next level. It was a good job, like capturing, um, the audio from the prayer and hearing that. Well, I know that can be hard if you have it mic'd up the bride, um, you know, hearing that. So I think you did a good job. It was mm-hmm. solid, but there was nothing to like write home about on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Editing, uh, next would be the pacing, the creativity flow and skill. Um, I'm giving this one a three and a half. Um, And Nick's probably going to shoot me for it because there's uh, maybe you, maybe not, but I'm giving it a three and a half because I feel like even though it wasn't my style of film, 
um, like it wouldn't be what I would provide the client. I feel like you used some techniques, um, super slow shutter, pulling in there, like doing, so you had to cool, like, like looking graphic with text at one point kind of transition thing. Um, your edit, especially in the second half of the film, um, like the pacing, all the stuff with it. Um, it, this wasn't just standard is a little bit better to me than industry standard. So I'm going three and a half on this one. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I mean, you know, you were kind of talking about how you kind of felt like you got two different films in that, you know, with this, the style and stuff. And I think, you know, the second and third song, like that's probably a four and a half for yeah. me, but okay. when it coupled with the first song, um, like there were some editing choices, you know, like you, you were talking about the camera movements and, you know, I might've, you know, put stuff in slow motion. A lot of the, a lot of the gimbal moments seemed fast. And so I probably would have slowed them down, um, some to kind of offset some of that sort of stuff. So man, I, I mean, a three, three and a half is, I really, I think, I, I think that the, the second half, especially that last song, the editing is so in depth and so um, interesting that I think I'm going to pull it up. It's going to pull me up to a four overall. Um, it, that, that, that's where I'm going to land. Um, You're telling me that that film is a overall edit is a four. That's see, where I was at because man. the first part, if I watched the first half of that film and stopped, I probably would have given it like a two and a half. Not that it was bad, but like, it was just a lot of the same kinds of little gimbal movement shots back to back to back the um just i don't know that's that's where i'm at i'm i'm sticking with three and a half you can go four if you'd like but i don't don't just do a four just so you can be different if you do if you think it like there are you know, other films you know, we have like, like I, i'm i'm forget i'm forgetting here that this isn't yeah um i i think i'll i I agree with you. It's, it's more, it's more than, um, industry standard, but it, the whole thing, if, if like the last two songs were the feel of the entire thing, then yeah, I, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go with a three and a half. I think that that's a good, uh, next time it's just going to be myself or you, uh, <laughs> not both of us. No, I, I, I think it's, I think it was a good job. Um, all right. Yeah. Moving on to the story. Um, story yes emotion storytelling captivating depth i gave this a three um mm -hmm. solid again mm -hmm. this film to me was very solid the whole thing all of it but nothing really about it to me i mean i know that we heard a little bit in the speeches about like uh the groom saying you know he's gonna marry her that was bold those kinds of things like i like that i think that's great um but there wasn't anything just like took it over the top for me so it was very solid good job three yeah. Um, same thing for me. I, I gave it a three. Why do, do you, do you just saw this last one? Do you want to answer for both of us? And like, yeah, we that's... gave it a three as well on the last one. Uh, no, uh, yeah, no. Do you, anything you want to add on story or like what I said? No, no. Again, uh, again, I, I think that, um, as, as we, unless it's just something incredible that happens on the wedding day, I'm guessing that most people that if you want to do something that to give it above a three, you know, you're going to need to spend more time with, with them. And that's going to be uh, some sort of like story session or rehearsal dinner or, you know, some extra time so you can get to know them a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I think that this is probably as good as you could have done with the stuff that you had. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to kick it back over to you uh, since I started that last one. Uh, last thing is color. Yeah. Uh, I also win a three on this one. Um, you know, there was uh, it definitely standard um, with that. There were some inconsistencies, you know, if maybe it was you were using different camera bodies or um, I also know that you, there was lots of spottiness, meaning, um, you know, the bride, you might've had her in shade, but right behind her, it was blaring sun. Or, you know, I know during the uh, ceremony stuff uh, that there was, you know, sun coming in, stark sun coming in. And so I'm wondering if maybe that's why you didn't use the officiant, like actually seeing him speak is because the lighting was just horrendous while he was talking during that kind of stuff. Um, I really think that you, you did really well under those circumstances, but still that doesn't change the fact that color throughout was a little 
a little inconsistent. Yeah, to me, the color made the film feel cheaper. And I know that um, some of the things like ceremony specifically, you can't control. Another thing that I think that we forget about is like who was the photographer. And a lot of times the photographer places people in spotty light because they're doing something super light and airy and want to do mm-hmm. whatever or and li- like fight for light. Gosh, I'm a pun today. I'm a pun guy today or rhyme guy today. Um, but like oh, if funny. you don't like anything outside of like the ceremony, um, you know, that's where you kind of speak up and say, Hey, can we pull them into the shade here? Or can we put them directly in the sunlight? Um, a lot of the color to me was just like very blue, um, which to me is not the feel and emotion that I want at a wedding day. That's going to feel more sad and more cold, um, as opposed to like warmer midtones, uh, and doesn't have to be like brown grass or anything like that. But, um, I'm just like really thinking through like how this color is going to affect, you know, shooting on the day. Um, if you have a good monitor, like the one we're giving away here in a second, so you can like see um, really good color, whatever Nick read in the comments is funny. But, uh, the fun guy is a pun guy. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Okay. Uh, I gave it a three. So that gives me the same exact score as you as always is a 15.5. So 31. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, someone asked in the comments uh, about do, 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 the, the three out of five or something, the coalition wedding films. Um, yeah. Blake, do you mind, in put, mind putting up on the screen, just kind of the scoring system and Nick, while I cough, do you mind uh, explaining yeah. it? Yeah. So how we're doing um, the scoring system here, a three we are saying is industry standard. So if you are in the wedding film industry, if you are creating uh, this, these types of films, like you should be able to competently do these things, cinematography, audio, sound, editing, story, and color. And um, mo- mo- most people that are doing good work, um, doing uh, getting jobs, getting paid and that stuff is going to be industry, industry standard, which is three. If you want to get a four or a five, we're going to say that these are things that go above and beyond when it comes to cinematography, stuff like intentionality with your framing, intentionality with your camera movements. When it comes to audio and sound, uh, you're going to need uh, sound design. You're going to need to have clean audio whenever people are speaking. When it comes to editing, how are you putting your film together? How are you piecing it together? And is it, if you're doing, you know, are you introducing stuff that can really pull people in? You know, whether that's doing some time shifting or uh, upbeat, crazy edits or being very intentional, maybe being kind of slow and methodical, but again, being intentional with how you edit the story. Do we know the couple? Do the, do we know their situation? Do we know what's going on? Um, you know, doing something more that's going to get you higher numbers. And then with the color, uh, just being very consistent, doing something that pulls us into the film and doesn't take us away uh, from what is going on. Those are things Mm -hmm. that we are looking for. So, yeah. And I um, would just say that if you are, you know, three across the board, like on a film, um, I hate, like, I don't want people out there thinking, Oh, I only got a three or only like numbers or John and Nick, you know, said my video is only a three on this. So I'm now depressed about that. that, That's not our point with this. Uh, It's just a system. So we can say, this is really good. This is factory. I keep saying factory standard industry standard. Um, If you're a a person that submitted a film and you got like all threes, um, you're never going to have a problem finding work. You're going to be able to charge good money for what you do. Bumping up into the fours in some of these categories, I think about like, um, some of the filmmakers I love the most, like a little long distance, like Josh, he is a five plus on storytelling, right? Like that's his thing. He's great at storytelling, but I'm not sitting here thinking like his cinematography is the most creative. It's very handheld. It's very rough. It's on purpose that way. But like, we're just, it does, you don't have to be a five in all these categories to be some of the best in the whole world. Um, so um, this is just for us as filmmakers to be able to look at other films and say, what can I do to get better at story? What can I do to get better at? Um, so anyway, just good explanation. Nick wanted to add on a little sprinkles on top of the icing on top of the cake. Yeah. Yeah. How many more do we have? Um, well, we have slotted for a, a couple more. Okay. Um, no one has, no one has purchased the course, so we're not doing any of theirs, but we Screw have a you guys. More. I'm going home. I'm just we kidding. So many more. people have already purchased the course. Maybe they already bought it. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. But if you guys are enjoying this, let us know. Give us a little like, 
down there. That's what the YouTube's likes, and we like that. That the YouTube's likes it. I just like the video from John Bunn Films. <sighs> oh, I haven't liked it from Wild Oak Films. Now I yeah, have. If you... <laughs> Oh, if you yeah. if you have purchased the complete wedding video course, it looks like some of you all have. Um, let us know what you think in the comments, or just post a quick review in the comments so we can see it for later. That would be nice. Yeah. Um, okay, JD, good job. Seriously, yeah, man, good job. Good Great job. work, and your hair is amazing. Oh, it is. It is so amazing. Nick uh, wants next, it. Next, he gets a five on the hair for sure. Oh, uh, higher than five. Yeah, you're probably. Um, right. Okay, next we have our fr our friends uh Chris and Aaron from Tamarack Film Co. They are yeah. course purchasers and mastermind students and uh yeah, we are going to watch one of theirs. So here we go. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Whew. This is the most beautiful, coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's amazing. Look at this place. We recognize a special bond between these two incredible human beings. Their adoration for each other is as magical as the place we stand. I have been waiting many years to reminisce on the day that Zach chose Hannah, long before she knew it. You both complement each other in the most perfect ways, truly souls that were destined to be together. But the chances of finding your soulmate in the sixth grade hallway well, is truly amazing. <laughs> Zach shared with me one of his first memories of Hannah. He recalled the tiny dark haired girl with frizzy hair standing by his locker in sixth grade. He recalls Hannah giving him a flower and he put it safely in his locker. When Zach met Hannah, they just had fun. I always knew that Zach was special. He cared a lot. The way he loves people is so genuine. As I've gotten to know Hannah, I know that she's one of the most genuine people that I have ever met, and you care just as much as Zach. And if I could describe you in one word, it would be unconditional because for the ones who mean the most to you, your love never fails. You're selfless, kind, supportive, thoughtful, and honest. Thank God I started dating Tucker five years ago because it brought me closer to you. I love you. <laughs> Zach, your willingness to embrace Hannah's quirkiness and terrible jokes are a true testament to your love for her. When you are really fortunate enough to grow up and witness people who are truly in love and express it honestly, simply, and in small ways. You cannot help but feel a sense of warmth and joy when you guys are sitting on the couch or whatever, wrestling, playing, and like fighting. And you can see Hannah smile, and it's always just so big, so genuine. And you can see on Zach's face at the same time, that's the only thing he'll ever need to motivate him to be the best husband he could possibly be. Zachary and Hannah, husband and wife. You make it survive.
There's just a lot of love in this group. For all of us, when you think of love, you think of Zach and Hannah. For me, it's like uh, our family tree just doubled, you know, in size. And being part of the Jordan family, um, it reminds me of those sequoias we were just in. Cheers! Well done. Yeah. Well done. Good job. Is that was Chris and Aaron? Yes. Great job. All right. Let's let's do this thing. Um, I'll I'll kick it off. Uh, I think this was a really good job. You did really great with the story you had with the elopement. Uh, if you want to call it that, the small family wedding destination intimate wedding. Um, I think, I think you did a really good job. I, I feel like, I don't know how long contractually you had it film. The film felt a little long to me. Like I was like, is it almost like I don't, and it just went and went like, it wasn't bad, but it, it felt like it could have been better if it was two minutes shorter. Um, but I really liked it. I think you did a good job and uh, creatively and mm -hmm. we'll get into it. Nick, any opening feedback about the film? Uh, I mean, very good. Uh, Oh, that's what I said the last time, right? Just very good. Um, it, you know, beginning drew me in. Um, you know, again, a big part of that is sound and um, the the color and the visual, like it all just going well together. So um, good job. Good job. So Yeah. Nice. All right. Cinematography to start with. I gave them a four. Um, very good job. I feel like I have to be careful with cinematography when you're in an epic location. It's easier to make it look. Uh, epic. I feel like your drone work was really great. Um, but I also feel like there were lots of good shots like um, through the windows doing uh, a lot of shots where things like things were out of focus in the foreground. You muddied up the foreground. You got good different angles. Uh, your camera movement was clean. Creativity. It felt uh, creative. The composition was great. Technic technique was great. Fundamentals, very solid. I didn't see too many like super overexposed things. I'm on the technique side. I think you guys did a really good job. I'm giving it a four. Yeah. Um, very solid above industry standard. I, um, I'm i going with a three and a half on this one. We did um, something different. Were, we did do something different. Uh, you know, there were just, there were just a few, um, you know, shots that I, I, I thought the movements were a little um, maybe abrupt a little bit. Um, but I don't know, just kind of gut, gut wise. That's, that's where I landed was a three and a half, but again, so much better than so many, so many things that, that we've seen. So you give that cinematography a three and a half, not a four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chris and Aaron, you know who you're, I mean, I don't is. know. I, I'm, I'm no. sitting here re rewatching this. Maybe I'll, I'll change that whenever we, we get there. Yeah. I feel like, um, this is not a five. This is not just blow my mind, but this is also just far above a standard film when it comes to cinematography definitely a four on me for me um okay. audio um i'm giving this one a ooh, i was i had three and a half written down i think i'm gonna stick with the three and a half i don't know how i feel about these half scores we might i don't know um you did a really good job getting the audio in that big circle which was really impressive and that's what i really appreciated 
um, just uh, everybody talking, having to mic people up, even handing them the mic around. Um, you did a really good job of like hiding the mic on the officiant and on the groom during the ceremony. I didn't see it. And I felt like that was really good. Um, and I feel like it was really clear. Your sound design was really good. Uh, what held it back to me from just being a four and I might bump it up to a four after I hear Nick talk, but, um, there was a couple of times in the dialogue and it might just be in my headphones, but like it would be hard cut in and out. Like when the officiant was speaking near the beginning of the film, it just like, I could hear, like hear noise, background noise. And then it would just chop out, chop back in. You could just tell it had been cut in and out and it like took me away. Um, but it was better than your industry standard for sure. So I'm two and three and a half. You sure? Just, just a three and a half. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm giving this one a four, uh, for sure. Um, the, the biggest things are using the sound to enhance the film and pull you in and adding in a lot of those sound effects and a lot of those, uh, things really draws you in and it's going way above and beyond what I think most people are doing, even in a, in, in a location like this, I still think that there's a lot that people, um, aren't doing so above beyond on that. Um, just getting all of the mics and getting everyone speaking and everyone talking and stuff and capturing that well, uh, isn't always the easiest thing to do. Um, so good job on you guys passing around an actual task cam and having them talk into that, uh, so that we could hear that, uh, nicely. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to four for this one. On the... As I'm looking at that, like, and seeing all those shots and remembering all the little wave crashes and all the little things, I'm going to bump mine up to a four as well. And hearing what you're saying, I, I do think this is next level when it comes to, uh, this is not your, your industry standard. This is better than that. And I think you did a good job with being outside. I would caution you though, like really listen to that dialogue real loud, um, real loudly on headphones or different things. Cause I think you'll hear what I'm talking about at the beginning. I, it might've been just hard to kind of, no, I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I hear, I hear what you're saying, you know, at the beginning, you know, it was just kind of like the, um, the just cut in and room out noise. And it, and was, out. it was like the yeah. room noise for lack of better term. Yeah. Um, that you, you, you just hear that. So, yeah, I think there was a little bit of layering, a little bit more work on it. I think at a certain point you got to just stop at, it with audio though. So I think you did a, a good job on that. Um, mm -hmm. the edit itself, Nick, uh, pacing, creativity, technique, flow, and skill. What do you got? What do you got? I'm, I, I think this is above industry standard, but I don't know if it's quite a four for me. Um, I put this at a three and a half, um, I, I, one, one of the things, and, you know, you were sitting there talking about John, you know, it felt like it, maybe it could have been a shorter film or something like that. Uh, I think the one for the editing, the, maybe the, the drawback to me is it kind of did, even though the songs were nice and they blended well together, it did kind of feel like we had two different parts that were like pushed together just a little bit. And so, at least to me. So, mm -hmm. um, I think that that was that, I think I'm going to end up on a three and a half on this one. Um, now that I'm just kind of talking <clears> out loud. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I have this one done as a four. Um, okay. I think they did a really good job, um, with this edit with, and I had a three, 3.5. I marked it out for what this was and the kind of film that it was. I feel like they did pace it. Uh, it was a little bit longer. Like I, I get that but it still had a nice flow to it. I feel like the skill of the edit, like there was a lot of really, um, I think about the shot we're talking about, like the flower or whatever, and then it cut to a, like, you could see a shot of a flower, like layering that, um, just kind of some of those double exposure type things where we're saying, I just feel like this was um, like, when I think about a three, when it comes to edit, it's like, yeah, that's good. This was better than good to me. And so- um, like, Like, can you- Pull pull it back up looping. Is that still possible for you to do that? Oh, I want to. It'll just it'll just take him a sec. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, because I th I think that especially like I feel like th what I was surprised with too with the edit is like they save some of the best shots for later in the film. Like I didn't get bored with the edit. I just feel like to me, uh, I didn't um, 
like I personally at a certain point, it's just like, okay, it got a little, like got a little repetitive, nothing crazy. So I, I, I just think it's a really good edit for what, what they had. I think they did a good job with what they, they had to work with. I might, I might bump this up to a four. Yeah. You do you, man. I'm not, I know. I, oh, I will do me. I will do me. Okay. Story. You talk. Uh, story itself. Um, I, again, I think that they did a, a really good job with their story. Um, hearing everybody's point of view. I'm sure they had so much audio to work with. I don't know if it was their idea to do this or it was the couple's idea to do this. Um, I don't want that to affect my score. I know that they're in the, the chat and are listening, but uh, are watching, but I think that they did a really uh, good job with the story. I gave it a four. I'm giving their, their story a four here. I feel like I got to know the couple and their story. Um, you know, just them dating sixth grade locker flower boom like all those little things um what would have taken this to a five to me is just again showing more of their actual story it kind of at a certain point felt like we were in this box of this beautiful like acre or two that we just kept like staying in um which was fine because that was the wedding day but it was just like that i feel like their story was story was really good nick yeah, I'm <clears throat> like, this is one I felt and we don't all, you don't always get this with toast with toasts, but, um, I felt like the people that were sitting around in the circle, um, like were saying stuff that was more real about the couple, like more genuine about the couple. So I felt that I got to know them a little bit better than maybe I would on a traditional wedding day and doing it a setting like this, you know, I'm sure all of the, the bridal party and the family and stuff knew, knew each other fairly well, especially when you're having something smaller and something intimate like that. Um, and so I think that this one was, uh, very, yeah, I'm going to give it a four as well. I'm going to give it a four as well. And okay. I'm changing my cinematography. I just saw a few shots. I'm changing that to a four. I'm bumping it up. <laughs> We're going to end up with the same freaking score again. Uh, it's funny. Yeah. I mean, the more that this loops, and that's why I love having this thing looping, is like, oh, yeah, that, because it's so fast when you're watching, you're trying to process all these different categories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think they did a really great job. And after I saw the my grade on this story, they posted that they suggested the intimate beach time, and then the toast took off. I think that's super great. And just to be there and willing to be like, hey, hold this mic or hey, let me put this mic on you. Um, might be awkward for a couple of seconds, but who cares? It's a lifetime of like them having those stories. Um, I love it. I love, I loved all that. So um, last but not least, color. Nick, I've been just really diving into color lately, um, geeking out have about it. Have you been swimming in it? I have watched you swam. swim in it. Like no, Scrooge McDuck in gold, but you're swimming in color. Uh, I haven't been swimming in it, but yeah. Okay. What I was trying to say was this color is really good. Um, I think you had to combat with all of the greens, like in the woods here in the jungle, the forest, whatever. Um, but it, it looks like you're, you know, Pacific Northwest getting some like mood and vibes, which is not fair if you're from somewhere like Kansas or something that's just not as pretty light or whatever. But there were some shots where I feel like it was like, uh, a lot of times what I'm looking for with color too is just like a shot followed by another shot that's so different that the color kind of like changes so fast, so quick. And if it's not on purpose, it feels like unintentional. Um, but I think you, the drone shots that you had, the color was really good. You got out there a little late at certain points. So it started to feel pretty dark, but um, I give it a four. I get fours across the board on this film. Um, I think this is way better than factory standard across the board. I love all the color um, in it. One thing, a couple yes. of shots, but yeah. One thing that I appreciated about this film is it was in drastically two different locations. You had kind of the redwoods and then you had the beach and you almost, I don't know if this was intentional or not. I'm, I'm going to believe that it was intentional is that they were almost colored a little bit differently. Like the stuff with the beach is more blue and the stuff in the redwoods is more green obviously because in the green and the redwoods it's more there's more green but you did it in a way um, and this is a, a a filming technique that a lot of people depending on locations will actually color where they are just a, a slightly bit different and whether you did that intentionally or that just happened to be what the LUT did it worked very very well and if you were to put all of the beach stuff side by side and then all of the tree stuff side by side it's it 
those those two things would be consistent from my yes. point of view. And now that yes. you've put both of them together, it works really well because it's like, okay, this blue tone is over here and this green tone is over here. So I'm going to give it a four on that. Yeah. So my score was a 20. Mm. Dude. You know what my score is? I'm going to guess it's a 20 since we are it's the also freaking 20. same. We're the same. So everyone take a shot. Yeah, take a shot every time we have a tied score. You would be plastic. Aaron said it was intentional. Yeah, in in the chat there. Um, yeah. Hey guys, Blake, why don't you pull up the scores? Like what people get if they score something. Can you pull that? Can you pull that slide up there for us? Because this one, not that one. He knows he's oh, working he, on it. He's going. He's getting there. He's getting there. This is there a forty, is. you guys, which is an honorable distinction. Whoop so, whoop! Good job, guys. Chris and Aaron, congratulations! You can give a of a, a, a clappy clap. You are only our fourth film to receive one of these awards, and so you will get featured on our How to Film Weddings channel, and you'll get a little badge for your website whenever we. Not a little uh, one. You can make it as big as you want. Oh, you can make it as big as you want. We'll 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 give you that. We'll give you the the EPS file, and you can make it as yeah. big as you want. Um. Yes. Okay. Nick, we have one more. Is that right for today? Um. We, we have time for one more if we want to do that or if we want to jump in and do the giveaway. I'm good with kind of whatever. We've done five. We've been going for a while. So what do you want to do? Uh, how long is the next one, Blake? It's a longer one. It's like almost 10 minutes. Is this one that is a uh, a submission? Is this one that's yeah, a it's guarantee? A it's a submission. Maybe we put this one at the... Do they know that they're getting... So, no. does it, okay, no. so that wouldn't hurt anyone's feelings. Okay. Um, I'm okay... Uh, with doing the giveaway i'm okay with that okay. i feel like this is this um, i know you know i know that you don't know who you are but we promise that we will review review your film next month so we will email you i will make a note and touch base with who we were supposed to review right now yeah um i think that it's good to take the time that we need to do it right and i don't want to rush people and i don't want people to feel like um they are just having to hang on for a giveaway um yeah. so do we want to bring that qr code up real fast um yeah blake if you could do that for the I giveaway will. we're gonna do a tiny wheel tiny wheel yes that's an office reference do you remember that where they have like the wheel of chores and then they like yes. bring it down to like the tiny wheel um okay so if you want to enter win, enter to win this Adamus shinobi monitor uh, that clever little graphic up on the screen is a QR code or Blake, if you could put the link in the chat. Um, and then also uh, CGM productions films. Uh, we have a link that we share inside of our Facebook group um, for the film reviews, as well as we do it throughout the, uh, the live stream. So um, that is the, the link that Blake just put for uh, the film review. Uh, no, no, that's for the, the That's Adamus for it Shinobi. To, yeah. to win the Shinobi little <clears throat> monitor thing. Yeah. So who here in the comments could really use a monitor? Who could really like who needs the extra mojo for me to be wishing for you to win? If that's you, just let me know in the comments. Like, I really need a monitor. I can't tell you how much it improved what I did whenever I started using monitors. I was able to put my Rec 709 LUT onto the monitor and able to color grade knowing that it's going to look the same like that just changed everything for me and shooting 10 bit color we can get into that another day but um the color of my films has changed a ton i've started to learn scopes and things like that but it all started with having a really good monitor um and if you don't win be sure to consider investing a few hundred bucks into one of these monitors uh Caleb, uh, you definitely need one. The FX3 screen is hot garbage, if you ask me. Um, I have the FX3s. I use them. They're okay, but 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 yeah, they're they're not great. Yes. So, um, used one with a C70 a week ago. Holy smokes, I need both. Um, awesome. Okay, as we're uh, putting the uh, emails in, we're going to close off those. We're going to give it a couple more seconds. Uh, but we're going to close those off. So uh, if you haven't entered to win already, I see there's 105 of you watching now. I see there are 76 likes on this video. Um, if you want a bonus vote, this is not true. Just believe it, though. If you want a bonus vote, be sure to like this video. Uh, it helps us out a lot. It's free for you to do, and it helps us 
tell the YouTube gods that we don't suck at what we're doing. So be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. I appreciate those coming in and be sure to subscribe. I mean, why the heck not? Um, and lastly, on the screen, while you're waiting, enrollment closes Monday at midnight for the complete wedding videography course. Um, this is our full course on business shooting and editing. Nick and I sat down and broke down every single section of the business portion of your uh, business, the editing and the shooting. We got behind the scenes videos, got all kinds of stuff you've been hearing about all week long. It's $1,497 or you can get started for $147 and you might be like, wow, $1,500, that's a lot of money. I'll tell you this, there's like $800 worth of templates in it and then 30 plus hours of the course, another 20 plus hours of bonus content, like real Zoom sessions. Um, of me booking weddings, Nick booking weddings. There's so much in there that we know that it's going to more than like be worth the investment. We've seen hundreds of people go through it. It's something that you get lifetime access to. So if you're on the fence about it, if you have questions, if you've never heard about it, go over and click the link to join or to at least look. There's a landing page with all kinds of information. Um, it's got our faces on there a lot since you know we like seeing ourselves, which is fun. But um, everything, I mean, is broken out into sections. It's really easy for you to see. So um, with that, Blake and Nick, do you guys have what you need for the we wheel? Are of we are ready. We are ready. ready? If you're ready, uh, throw me an emoji in the comments. Hit me with that emoji. Okay. All right. Now, remember, now there is a chance because when I downloaded this, there were 120 emails but there are only 113 of you right here. So there's a chance that someone that entered is not here. So hopefully we only have to spin this once, but we'll see. Okay. Wheel of names. Do your thing. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, spin I can that wheel. Spin that wheel. And the winner is... Hey! Mike Teves Films. Are you still yeah. here? Please be here. Oh, I Please hope he's here. here. Mike, oh, tell us your He has to win. He, he has to win. To. He has to win. Come he on, let us know in the comments win. if you're here, Mike. You got about 30 seconds. You got to say, I am Mike. Here. I am win. Mike, where are you? Where Mike? Are you? Oh, my you goodness. were commenting earlier. Oh, Mike, no. please be here. No, be here, Mike. Oh, no. Mike, someone text him. 15 seconds. We got 15 he's seconds editing. left. He is. Mike, are you here? Mike. Oh, he's so good. Oh. Someone call him. We got 10 seconds left. Everyone's saying no in the comments. Like, don't no, we don't him. want that. We're don't totally no. Don't, no, don't text him. Five seconds. Someone's calling him. Mike, more like psych. <laughs> 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 That's not nice. All oh, right, man. final call, Mike. You, you Five, are unfortunately four, three, three, two, one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mike. sorry, Mike. I'm spin so that sorry. wheel. Spin, spin that it. wheel. Remove oh, him and man. spin that wheel. Gosh. Sorry, Mike. Here you go, All Blake. Right. Spin Here it. Here we go. Man, Mike's such a good dude, too. <laughs> that blows. All right. Second place is first place today. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Did she win yesterday? <laughs> yes. Is she the one that won yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Haley Hongslow at gmail.com. I'm dead. I am a dead human right now. Look at me. Is can we? Can we... <laughs> There's, There's no can... way. It's, it's, it's really not rigged. rigged. I swear. One... It's rigged. Less oh than one percent chance. She's here. She's here. I'm here. Oh my word! Well, go we didn't say. Hey, yeah, go you should sign up for the lottery ticket. Okay, um, oh Haley, gosh. you got congratulations! Oh, wow! If she if she doesn't buy her a course, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Oh man! Wow, oh, this is word. rigged. Oh, Everyone, go unlike. Go to thumbs down the video. I don't. Okay, care about remember. The YouTube. Please remember, don't really remember do yesterday <laughs> when we told you all to follow Haley because she gave away her pricing guide. Go go back and unfollow her just yeah, to back. show her. This is the karma for her giving that away. She's yeah, reaping. it totally go, is. 
It totally Go leave is. a negative Google review on her page. No, oh, don't God, do please that. don't do that. Don't do that. Just kidding. Don't do that. She's the nicest. Haley, uh, all you have to do is email hello email at Hello Film Wedding. Nick, we should give another one away. Let's give one more away. I'm just saying. Okay, Haley, you get one? Yeah. I mean. Okay, one more. Do it. Are you okay with that, everyone? I'm, I'm great with that. Should we do, a, should we do another that. one? Let us know in the comments. Like, let's see. I mean, okay, people are saying, is. look how nice we are. I'm just saying, you're not getting that over on okay, Matt Johnson's who, channel. Who won? <laughs> <laughs> who, who won? Um, somebody won the other day. If the, if the guy that wins the, wins the computer monitor wins this, then like, I'm I'm done. If, if take her name out, is she? I did. I really yeah, did. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we so. know there's no what? way for you to enter more than once. Their names are only in one time, right? I'm just double checking. Let me double check. I love okay. all of the Do like it. hello at email address. Like everyone. Yes. It's like smart. Smart. It's great. smart. All right, let's go. Um, okay. Are we ready? Let's freaking we go. go. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Good job, Good Haley. Job. Good job, Haley. Spin that wheel. We did for the win third fair time. and square. Third time's a charm. Two monitors given away just because we love you guys. I'm changing this because it's bothering me and people keep saying you something better, about it. You better like this video, though. There's 104 watching and 96 likes. Give us a freaking break. What do we have to do? Dance more? Jeez. All right. Spin that wheel. Oh, right, no. Let's go. Guys. It's Mike. Mike showed up. No. Mike showed like, up. Put his late, name Mike. back in the list. Mike, put can his you name put, back in the list. Can you put his name back in? I don't have his just, email. Just write, write Mike. Write Mike. Just write Mike. Mike. Yeah, sorry, Mike. You won Mike. earlier, but right, you weren't he here. You're right there in red. So we're putting your name back in. <laughs> he was cleaning. He was cleaning. <laughs> Oh, I love okay. this guy. I love Mike. I just need him to know this. Yeah, you lost earlier, Mike. We all counted down. So sorry. It's just the way it works. You shouldn't have went and cleaned. It's your fault. It's not ours, but we still love you. Okay, he's back in. Haley, who cheated somehow, won the first one, so we're giving away another one. She didn't really cheat. I don't know why I'm in this mood all of a sudden, but let's freaking go. Spin the wheel. Spin it. If Mike wins, I would be. I would die. Haley the cheat. That's that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> Haley, you're Haley the sweet is what it is. She's so sweet. Okay. Eric at smokeaphotography.com. Derek, Derek, are you, are you here? here? You got 30 seconds from right now. Derek, where are you at? 25 seconds. My palms Derek. are sweaty. He's not. Derek at, They're saying Derek he's at not. 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. Derek is Derek cleaning. Derek 15, is clean. 15 seconds. I haven't seen a single Derek. I haven't either. Dare we do another name? Derek? Huh? We got 10 seconds. Derek, oh is, my Derek is Mike's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are funny. Five Haley seconds. Again. Five seconds. Put <laughs> Haley's name back in there. <laughs> just kidding. No, just kidding. She just has all of the stuff. She's like Adele at the Grammys or something. She just has all the. Th okay. Um, all, right. all right. Five, four, all three, right. two, one. Spin that wheel. Spin right. it again. Sorry, Derek. Removed. Uh, Going to change my name for Haley next time. <laughs> Haley's not in it. Holding that for Mike it. here. Oh, it doesn't look like it. All right. Who's got the second monitor? Spencer Purcell Films at Gmail. Spencer, are you here? You got 30 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone's like, he's not. Uh, Spencer's here. There That's he me. Is. Congrats, Spencer. You're a person besides Haley. See, we don't just give things to Haley. It was worth the $400 or whatever that monitor costs for us to say <laughs> we're not cheaters. Spencer, oh, send us an email to hello at howtofilmweddings.com. It's on you. Send us an email. Say you won. Say you were second place, but somehow, or fourth place, but somehow you still won. Haley, do the same thing. You already know our email address since we already are sending you other stuff. Yeah, just reply to the other one. <laughs> um, and thank you to everybody that was here on the live today. We do these live streams once a month on our YouTube channel. We have tons of free content. We have a free podcast. If you haven't checked that out, lots of free things. And our course, one last plug for it. Nick, it's so fun. Hanging out with you on lives. I'm so excited for all the people joining the Complete Wedding Video course. Blake, thank you for being the producer today. Of course. Nick, I think that's it for me today. I'll be quiet that from here, here on out. You can say well. bye. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, again, if you have any questions about anything, specifically our course, reach out to us over on our Instagram account, at How to Film Weddings. 
and uh, we will uh, be sure to answer any questions you have. So congratulations, Haley. Congratulations, Spencer. Congratulations, Chris and Aaron for getting an award from us today. It's a major award. So thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. All right, see ya.